you're the reason why I can feel those butterflies when I go to sleep at night When I go to sleep at night Told me you're the reason why I can feel those butterflies when I go to sleep at night I finally know the reason why, yeah I'm never really satisfied, yeah Looking up a paradise, yeah Without you by my side Imagine I walk through your doorway Imagine skipping all the foreplay Imagine all the stars in one place Cause you, you really make me wanna fly Cross my heart and hope to die Lonely, you're the reason why I can feel those butterflies when I go to sleep at night So I am here today just to share some things that I had purchased. I apologize that this vlog is just all over the place. In the beginning, you probably seen like a really quick montage of what I have done in the last couple weeks. Honestly, I haven't just been in the mood for vlogging because I mean, where am I going, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed that. So I am just filming this portion, which is the introduction and just some things that I had picked up along the way, um, which is actually not a lot of things, but I'm gonna share it with you guys anyway. This is either something I had ordered online or had picked up in store. I had gone to the mall recently and that was because I picked up the clouds. I picked up this. <laughs> Don't judge me, my my dressing room right now is an absolute mess. I haven't been motivated to clean it, so hopefully that changes today. And it's because I've been working on cleaning on the office end, so I kind of neglected this part a little bit. But I do now have some space to throw some of these stacks of shoes if you guys haven't checked out my last video. I did a September sneaker haul, but after I filmed that video, I did get another sneaker so right now is the perfect time to catch up on some of the sneakers that I actually wanted to get but waited because of the resellers price to drop so this one I had picked up here is from StockX I will leave a link below I love StockX so much so I picked up the Air Force One women's bling look at how cute the little jewels are on the shoe i also like it too because it has the tan tongue here and it has like a little lace so such a feminine touch to it if you look at the nike swoosh as well it has a pebbled leather check on it as well as the back tab as well the other side does not have the jewels which is a bummer but it's okay probably because i usually only do rock one pair just like the Comme des Garçons so I really do love this I think I, I really do love these I think they're so cute I'm probably gonna wear them today I don't know where exactly I'm going today but I got ready because I wanted to try out the rare beauty items from Selena Gomez I picked up a couple from Sephora because I they it was their last day for spend a certain amount of points and get 15% off so I wanted to try it so I got three things so the one thing that I was the most excited to try out was the base Illuminatris Illuminatris I probably butchered the heck out of that so the reason why I was excited to try this is because um it's very reminiscent to the Sol Wasso um, that I've had before, but for a fraction of the price. Basically, this has a pearlescence um, primer and it kind of gives you that glow from within look. I really liked it from Sol Wasso, but the price for that is very high. So that's why I really wanted to try this. I actually really like how this looks. It is very close to the Sol Wasso and I would definitely recommend it if you really like that glowy look. So you can probably see in the sun how glowy um, this part of my face is because the window is right here. Um, so it does give out the same effect. I am not wearing any foundation today. However, 
it's because I wanted to try out their liquid touch brightening concealer. So I have, um, I was color match for 190W. And when I initially went in, I went on the Rare Beauty site to try to get color match for foundation and concealer. And I was matched for 290. So when I went in the Sephora sales associate was like oh i think that's too dark so we went 190 and i think it is a not it, it's a pretty good shade i think i i think i just forget that i've been home for so long that i am no longer 290 and tan or as tan so 190 is great um so i use this comes with the doe foot um applicator so i have put it on my skin just so i could dab it in um, quite honestly, I am not a fan of using this concealer to spot treat any hyperpigmentation. If that's what you're, I usually do with concealer. I don't think this is it. I think the water, it's a watery consistency. Um, I think it would be great just for the under eye to brighten up that area, but I wouldn't use it if you're planning to spot conceal around your face. I noticed after using translucent powder that, um, it's just, I, I don't think it's buildable coverage enough for that. So I had to end up going back to using my NARS, my NARS concealer, which I really like, which definitely helped with the spot concealing. I had a hormonal breakout a few weeks ago. So of course my, my skin, like I've talked about it before, is very prone to hyperpigmentation. So I had it here, here, and here. So you can probably still see this one a lot, but, um, yeah, I just think that's better for under eye. I probably wouldn't use it for spot treatment if that's what you wanted to try it for. Um, and then the last thing that I got from Rare Beauty is a soft pinch, is a soft pinch matte liquid blush. I got it in the color Grace. Um, I'm not really a fan of these types of blushes, but after watching some videos, um, I thought they were beautiful. So I went ahead and tried it on and it is actually really beautiful. I love how it looks. It does give you that fresh, like you just got pinched in the cheeks look. I'm wearing it right now. I think out of all three, my favorite is definitely that Illuminis, the Illuminating Primer. I don't know why. Oh, one is in French, I think. I really do like the illuminating primer. It is my favorite out of the three. And then it would have to be the blush. Um, I really want to try some of the other products, but a good thing I waited because I think the Sephora sale is starting soon. So as a Rouge member, I'd be able to get 20% off. So I'd love to try others. But um, the last thing I got from Sephora is some, something that I didn't know if I was... I was skeptical when I bought it at first and then I tried it and I never really used it after that. But after being in quarantine, I realized how much I loved it. I went through the whole thing and you'll see that towards the end, I have just like a quick empties haul. And um, it is a Summer Fridays CC Serum. I realized that um, after using this, I use this just for the day, um, that I didn't really have a serum for me to use during the day. So I rebought it. I actually really like it. Next to this, I would really like um, to suggest Peach and Lily. I think their serum for the day is beautiful as well. But I really liked this Summer Friday, so I got another one. Um, I've just been using this Monate um, Rejuvenique Oil for the day, which is great as well, but I usually do an oil and a serum. So I brought back the Summer Fridays. I actually really like this quite a bit. And um, I did pick up something from Louis Vuitton. It's really small, so that's why I'm not doing a dedicated video for it. Um, however, I think I will do a video as far as how my planner is looking like. I've been getting a couple of requests via Instagram on how my planner is staged. So I actually got the 2021 planner insert and I honestly didn't think I was going to get one for 2021 because uh truthfully the last couple of years haven't really been that great so I had picked up the 2021 refill for the MM and the reason why I got it is because Vivienne is on it so from what I understand is before if you were buying 
agenda refills you had two options you had just the regular refills and then you had one that was like a hundred dollars it was like a full set so it came with like a sec a separate like contacts and it came with like all the bells and whistles i'm assuming they're not doing it this year so i had so like it even came with like these little page tabs so like i had one with the butterflies before so i haven't really liked an insert from them since 2017 uh, so this is probably one of the cutest ones from there i will show you guys what this looks like when i do a planner setup video um but it has vivian on it she's beautiful vivian is their mascot if you don't know so i will show you more of that in another video so that was something i got really quick from louis vuitton i also was able to get a monate package um their wellness had come in so i really I, I had picked some of the items up i'm just waiting for the collagen pack but i'm just going to share what i bought with you guys so um i got first of all the probiotics and um this is a probiotic and a prebiotic complex so i used to take probiotics uh, a couple years ago and i stopped because the price of the probiotic brand that i was trying was way too expensive so for this this is used for healthy gut reasons and for me i always tend have a tendency to bloat because salt and all of that so having this um, back into my life has been really great i'm about one week in now and i just you just make sure you before your first meal of the day you take one with a full cup of water and then you have your meal so far it's been doing pretty well but it's still too early to tell so i was able to get two of them and i was able to get a total greens so the other greens that i'm still going through right now is the one from teeny blends i still really highly recommend that one i think if you love matcha you'll definitely like it i use matcha um, I make matcha lattes with those. Uh, this is going to be a little bit different. I think this is more fruity. I have yet to have tried it yet, but I heard this is really good with, um, no, I'm sorry. So the other one is the collagen that was good with the energy that I'm going to show you guys right now. So I got two of the greens because I, I like salads, but I feel like it's not something that I can eat all the time so if i wanted to get my greens in i th uh this is probably the best way to i and plus i get these at a discount so that's probably why i gravitate towards mo more of the monate products because of the crazy discount however again timmy blends does a really good one as well i will link everything down below but that's if you like matcha flavored things if you don't and you'd want to do something more fruity i think this is probably the way to go i will give you guys an update on this because i haven't tried it yet but there is also energy packs as well which i heard is really good with um the collagen and this is really good for pre-workout from what i understand to give you that boost of energy for workouts so i got this as well it's a pack of i don't know how much is in here oh there's 30 sticks in this pack here i heard it is good to be mixed in with the collagen key which are is being se shipped separately to me so this um i have yet to have tried out i got two of those as well just because i bought like these two packages and they came with these shaker bottles as well and then the two things that I'm super excited about, okay, is uh, this one here. It's called the Glossy Shine Mist. And the reason why I'm excited for this is because my hair gets real thirsty. So I am able, my hair type is able to use their oil um, for after the shower. So this is how my hair looks like with the oil. I will show you a before picture of how my hair used to look like prior to using um, these products in my hair so usually when I go out into the humidity though my hair gets really frizzy again well not as bad as it used to but I'm hoping that this glossy shine mist is able to help me um, tone down that frizziness out in the humidity Hawaii weather is no joke so I was able to get two of these as well and then the last item is the sun veil sunscreen so this is a daily mineral high protection broad spectrum spf 30. i'm currently using tatcha which is my absolute favorite 
um so i wanted to try this out as well just because tatcha's prices are a tad on the higher side so i wanted to try something that was a little bit lower price again because i get a discount um it is more lower price for me um again i'll leave all the information below but um sunscreen y'all you can't do wrong with sunscreen and y'all know on this channel i am obsessed with sunglass chains so that's why i'm not wearing one today is because i want to show you this one here i've been trying to find the perfect glasses to wear with it but i haven't um found one exactly yet so these are just the only ones that i have right now that i want to try it on it's a little bit heavy for these glasses truthfully but um i'm just going to show it to you guys how it looks so it is from i'm going to link them down below so oh there's some twists on here so basically they do sunglasses slash mask chains and they use and they refurbish um buttons from like chanel jackets to add to it or ysl you name it um they can do it this also bonuses as a necklace as well so i had picked this up and you know me i love my sunglasses chains guys i just think they're I don't know i just think they're fun i've been using them for quite some time now so of course i had to pick another one up and i really like the fact that they refurbish some of the jacket buttons and stuff so i thought that was great i'm in the future i think i would love to do like a giveaway from them again support small businesses guys but it is absolutely stunning not the right glasses for them but i just wanted to try it and see how it looked like on these and they're actually not bad they just move quite a bit so but otherwise that you can use it as a mask chain as well i can show how i can show y'all what that looks like and to just show you guys what i'm talking about like seriously seriously how dope does this also look like i actually don't wear fabric um masks anymore i like the idea of um i mean I, i'll wear it from time to time but i do have the disposable ones instead just because they're a little bit easier to wear in hawaii weather it's just so hot that um having a fabric masks make it even more hot but look how cute that is too And today, don't mind me, I'm just trying this out. I want to see how it looks, but I think it actually looks kind of cute on. But that is the chain mask that I got from, I believe they're called Tinsley Designs. Again, I will link everything below. But I think that was everything that I had picked up. I am picking up a couple more packages today. I do have a few more things that I am waiting for that's taking 10 years, 12 days, 800 hours to get here. But guys, thank you so much for checking out this vlog. I apologize that it is all over the place. But you know, it is what it is right now. It is a weird place. Don't forget to vote, guys. Um, make sure you check that you are registered to vote um, appropriate to where you are at. And don't forget the voting starts in a few weeks. And there's so many people who already had voted. So if you haven't already, definitely do so. I just got mine not too long ago. So I need to definitely do that. But guys, thank you so much. You guys are the Ellis. Bye. First thing on the empties list is the Champ by Monate and this is their dry shampoo. It does have a little white cast when you first spray it. However, it does fade away in a few seconds. It is actually one of the better dry shampoos that I have used. The one that I was currently using was the Oribe, which did leave a little oily after a while. Next up, we have uh, beauty water from sun in park this is one of my holy grail toner slash exfoliating items if you wanted to um, hear more about it check out my empties beauty video ollie's immunity sleep with elderberry has actually saved me to get a better night's rest i still do recommend this product even though i don't use it anymore but it just gives you a better quality of sleep Another one is a Monate conditioner. This is the revitalizing, volumizing conditioner. I definitely love it to lift the areas above my ears, but not on my roots. I can definitely see the difference and I do like this conditioner quite a lot. Next is this, is this Arconia Brightening Gromage. 
I actually do not really care for the gritty, sandy-like texture, but it does get the job done. My another holy grail favorite is from Mario Badescu, the Acne Facial Cleanser. I use this twice a day. Next is the Summer Fridays CC Serum. I actually just purchased this earlier in the video, as you've seen. I do love this as a daytime serum. I can definitely see hyperpigmentation and softening of my skin. Elderberry gummies. This gummies are so good elderberry is really good for immunity support so i definitely recommend it during especially during these times mario badescu's botanical exfoliating scrub is definitely one of my favorites not a fan of the beading i like a little bit more natural however this does leave your face feeling soft and smooth i went through another acne facial cleanser as you can tell, it is my favorite. Again, a holy grail. Teamy Green Tea Facial Scrub, another facial scrub that I definitely like. I love the smell, especially the cane sugar exfoliating parts to it.